In this code sample, we have the script element that refers to jQuery library. And here we have input element with a type assigned with a button, which means that we should get a button with uh, this text on it. And its ID is BT. Over here, we have a text field. And the text field has the ID str with uh, this text inside. Now, calling the dollar function, passing over a document, we get a reference for an object that represents the entire document. Over here, we invoke the ready function on it, passing over a function that will be invoked when the document loading completes. So when the document is loaded with everything, only then this anonymous function will be invoked and here we have a statement, a simple statement, saying that first we want to get an object that represents the element with the ID BT and then we call the click function on it passing over a, an anonymous function. That anonymous function will be invoked when this button is clicked. As a result, this statement is invoked, is executed whenever the button is clicked which means that over here we get an object that represents this uh, text field, this input element in the DOM and calling the remove function on an object that uh, represents an element from the DOM will remove that element from the DOM. Now if we try to execute this uh, code sample Let's try to execute this code sample. Over here I want to enter into the debugger. I want to get detailed info about what we have, including detailed information about the elements. Now as you can see we have the button element and we have the text element. So these two elements are child, as you can see, of a body. Now, when the user clicks this button, this will be executed, which means we should expect uh, this element to be removed from the DOM. So let's see if it goes away. Let's press the button. Yes, it goes away just as expected.